Welcome back everybody to another hunt. Well, this one's a late hunt. Been got busy over the weekend, but better late than never, right? So we're gonna make our way straight to that toy aisle because we are still hunting for that Batmobile. How lucky we'll get? I doubt it. But our first stop here is gonna be an end cap. But it looks like they got the whole wave for that new Marvel Legends Chodo or Choder. I'm not sure how to say that, but looks like the whole wave is here. It's good to see. You don't have to go hunting everywhere for a wave. Make our way over here. Got a little NECA section. Got a G.I. Joe, Puppet Master. I do see a lot of those Frankenstein rafts, but I hardly ever see any of the Leonardo's. We have a few. Turtles, Kong, some Predator there, The Thing. Oh, have you guys seen those new promo pictures for the dog version of The Thing? Or at least the dog figure? So many coming out. I mean, not so, but it has a lot of pieces of what I mean by so many. You can interchange it through all the stages of when he was uh, transforming. It looks badass. It looks really good, but... We'll see. We'll see because it's a pretty pricey figure. But let's continue looking. We have the stretchy guys. Marvel Legends. Some play along. Look at that. It's a big group. Also got a large rocket there. Rocket Raccoon. Looks. Like, there's not too much new stuff going on, but we do have some of the new stuff. There's the two different versions of the Batwing. Huge size difference. Pokemon Abominus. Have a little bit on uh, Multiverse here. Supergirl. Which Batman is that? Oh, that's the uh, Batflip. Big Thomas, the Superman. Looks like they stocked up some of the... Uh, Transformers here. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, next stop is going to be the collectible section. So let's start making our way there. Or actually, you know what? Not the collectible section. Take a quick look at this all over here. With the Fortnite and the Halo. It's the newer Master Chief there. Who's behind? Linda. This is the I.O. with a bunch of uh, Super Mario and Sonic. We got Super Saiyan Sonic there. A little pearlescent coloring. That looks cool. Dinosaurs, Jurassic Park. Starting to get very slim pickings on that Jurassic Park. Not too much stock going on on this side. Stink or a master is too bad. Princess of Power, Sorceress, a little bit of Avatar, and a very little bit of Wrestlers. We got a little end cap here too. But now let's start making our way to the uh, collectible section. All right, guys, coming up to collectible section. Starting off on the animes. Got a bunch of those mystery bags here, two pack model kits. We have some dragon. We have a lot of Dragon Ball here, actually. A lot of good anime figures here. If you guys are looking for them, looks like they stocked up. Even on the little guy here, we have some Godzilla. The spawns are still sitting there along with that dragon. Have some more spawns here. That two pack there. The little ones. Meta Luna Mutant Super Seven. We have those uh, pop covers. Oh, look at this! That's that new, uh, new Ryu Jada toys. Chun Li. And I forgot the other guy's name. I think it's Lee. Is it only Ryu here? 
I said Fei Long is his name. No Chun Li though. But they got a Fei Long and two Ryu's. That guy back. Nice. Nice to see something different at the stores. Got a bunch of pops here. Good amount I haven't seen yet. There's the two pack Darth Maul. We have a little bit more over here. Ah, oh, look at this. They got the new Phantom. He's hitting stores. This guy looks good, man. Flash Gordon. T's still shelf warming. We got the two pack. Man, we're finding some stuff today. New stuff, at least. Iron Maiden, I wait to hell. And they got the Dracula accessory set. Coffin, spiders, rats, and bats, and an armadillo. It's a good set. I like it. I like to get it for the coffin. It's thirty-five dollars. At least that's what the tag says. Let's move up here. Quick look, NECA section looks pretty stocked. Nicely stocked. A whole bunch of figures that we've already seen, but nicely stocked. Plushies. That Elder Predator. Got a few more Predators on the shelf here. Finishing it up, bottom shelf. We have this new uh, hand-painted child's play. That's... That's actually pretty nice looking if it, oh, if it looks as good as the promo pictures here on the box. It looks good. Oh, what's this? Goliath? Put him somewhere where we can get a better look. NECA Goliath. He, pretty hard to see him. He's pretty dark. But that's what he's supposed to look like. He comes with the folded wings, picture shows, open wings. They put both in there? They sure did. Why did they do that with the original Goliath? The first one? Eh. I guess because they knew they had to put the folded wings on some figures that wouldn't sell, right? But, on a good note here, we did see a good amount of figures. But, still no McFarland Batmobile. Well, let's make our way out of the store. So, I decided to stop by here at a Best Buy. Funny thing is, you think Best Buy, you think electronics. But, they actually, you know, depending on the location, they actually have a good selection of figures. So, that's what we're going to go in and check out at this one. See you in there. Here at the... Uh, little toy section that they have they have the cards too some card games here some of the McFarlane oh sage puncher there some anime dragon stars super seven I didn't know they carried super seven too this is super seven right yeah super seven that's cool to see. There's Deathstroke. Got some more Gremlins and more Dracula. They have both versions of the Ronin here. Super 7 Lion-O. The Ice. Gargoyles. They got a bunch of Legos here, guys. Some friends, the whole set. Marvel, Star Wars, Minecraft. I'm telling you, Best Buy isn't just electronics. <laughs> Have some little electronics here. Next, there's Toonies. But here we have some more uh, Marvel Legends and Multiverse. Look, I have this Batman. I believe was released here fairly soon, fairly recent. I mean, we have the Robin. Mortal Kombat's Noob Cybot as the Batman who laughs. 
So not too bad, you know, like it just really depends on the location. You know, some locations tend to have more. See a little spot over here too. They have the arcades as well. But they have this little location as well. Jurassic Park and some plushies. Eat the mushrooms so you'll grow. All right, I think we're done here at Best Buy. Let's uh, make our way out. Decided to stop in at the Walmart, the Wally World. Uh, I hope they have something. It's been so long since I've found something good in these stores. But here's to hoping, and let's go in there and find out. First stop will be here in the toy section. We have this little side over here, this little miscellaneous stuff with Pokemon and Poppy, Five Nights at Freddy's, all that good stuff. Turn it on over here into some Sonic and Mario, Fortnite, Beyblades. Not too much going on here, guys, but it looks clean. Look at that. We have some G.I. Joe. Who is it? Zorana. Wrestling ring down there at the bottom. More Dragon Ball Rangers, G.I. Joe. Wrestling. More stock than what they had at Target. We have a Night Wolf. Star Trek, Motus, Star Wars. And we've got DC coming in. DC coming in hot. Just kidding. I wish it was. There's a, uh, oh look. There's a Batmobile, but not the one that we're looking for. Again. We got some multiverse, superpowers multiverse here. Still have that gold label beast boy. Oh, this is a new one. Man, those colors look cool. Two of them there. Avatar. Anything good on multiverse here in the back hidden away? And no, it's nothing hidden. Everything we've seen already. Black Adam. A little bit of Marvel Legends here. And I wonder if I feel like... Oh, look at this. We've got the Spider Punk, Miles, Gwen, Spider Gwen, Peter B. Parker, the Spot, and Jessica Drew. Man, are they all here? How many are there? Yep, they sure are, except for the Spider Man 2099. He's the only one that's not here. That's what I was about to say. I feel like we haven't had any new figures at all. You know, that popped in my face. Oh, look. I lied. Here he is, right here. 2099 Spider Man. Let's go ahead and put him back up there. Whole wave is there. I like him, but not what I'm looking for to pick up right now. Jurassic Park. Look, they've got new figures here, too. Okay, so my earlier comment they do have new figures, but they don't have any of the new figures I'm looking for. That's the difference. No, but it's cool to see different stuff at the store. We have some Transformers. They got a bucket of Hot Wheels. They should take that off instead of Play-Doh and do bucket of Hot Wheels. But let's make our way over to collectibles next. Making our way to the collectibles section. Got a little end cap here. Same thing as we've seen before not too hopeful because every time I've come to this collectibles it's looked like this not too much here guys sadly no restock it doesn't seem like just a few figures they've got that black and white cat in there page punchers McFarland dragons we'll do a quick scan through here just show you guys what they have but it's has not changed too much. They still have that two pack. Those guys are, are ringing up like at 24 bucks. Dude, they're cheap. $10 a figure, pretty much. 
not a bad deal if you guys collect dragon stars. But we have some pops. And Hercules. Jurassic Park. Not too much going on. Aquaman. That's that's different, I think. I don't think we've seen him. But yeah. And we picked up this guy right here. Had to get him. Just had to. I'm not I'm not collecting the turtles and monster line, but when I saw Casey Jones, I just had to pick him up. He looks so good. And he can be mixed in with any other line. He, it's like, it looks really good, guys. But uh, this is our haul for the day. I want to thank you guys for hunting with me. Appreciate you tuning into the channel. And remember, everyone, enjoy the little things in life.